And so the squirrels are playing, the leaves are falling. And I thought, you know what? This can't end like this. I have a husband. I have children. I have to find purpose. I can't give up. So I live by that never give up mentality. So that day, I decided to write a book. And I wrote a book because I seen a lady on the Today Show. She wrote a book. I wore red lipstick to my mastectomy. And I thought, well, whoop de doo I did too. But I didn't write a book about it. And that's when it hit me. I need to write a book. And so I wrote a book called uh, A Breast Cancer Notification, The Gory Details, What People Don't Tell You. And that was about what my husband went through, what my children went through, what my friends, not what I went through. Everybody knows what the breast cancer ladies go through, but you don't know what the family goes through. It wasn't about me. People used to call, how are you? And I would tell them, don't call and check on me. Call and check on Jeff. Call and check on the kids. They're the ones that are falling apart. The doctors got me. It's them that I'm worried about. So if you want to call somebody, check on who's taking care of them. That's really important. And so the day I came across a website while I was doing research for my illness, and the website said, get paid to drink coffee. <laughs> and I thought, boy, I want you to look. This is another slap in the face to me. Uh, I was fired from a job, and now they're paying people to drink coffee. <laughs> I've been drinking coffee since I was six, and now I'm out of here. Now, I'm, now they're paying people to do something I could have made millions of dollars at. And that day changed my life as I knew it. I went from tragedy to triumph and from struggle to success, and now I live by the never give up mentality. Since then, in 2011, 2014, 2017, I've done the uh, Emmy Celebrity Gifting. In 2012, we did the uh, MTV Movie Awards. 2013, we did the Nickelodeon uh, Kids Choice Awards. Uh, I've done the Boxing Expo with Mayweather. We've done the Paul Abdul Tour. Uh, we've also participated in a World Guinness Record event. Uh, I'm working on my second book, and it is titled, I Won't Fire Me. Uh, when you're fired from two jobs, it's amazing how life can change for you and you realize you're not as important as you thought you were. So it, it's something to think about. Starting a cancer clothing line called NGU. Uh, I have a good friend in Hollywood who designs, and that's for Never Give Up. It's kind of a woo idea. Now I spend my time teaching others how to be ready. What are you going to do? I, I have a question for everybody in here because we're talking about network marketing today. Um, I don't like to bring up religion, but I always like to ask this question. And this has nothing to do with if you do or don't believe in, in God. But how many people in this room have ever heard of Jesus Christ? Who? That's amazing. Every single person raised their hand. So the reason everybody knows about Jesus Christ is because talked to 12 disciples. And those 12 disciples went out and spread the word. If you want to know how easy this business is, go tell 12 people. 2,000 and some years later, people are still talking about it. It's what you do. It's what you leave. It's what you say to people. And you have to leave an impression on them. You can tell 12 people in 2,000 years from now, somebody may remember your name. I don't know who, but somebody may. And so now, uh, why should you write a book? The importance of expanding your network of people and influence. How to live by the never give up mentality. People have to grasp onto that. Some people will find an excuse for everything in the world. Oh, I can't do it because of this, and I can't do it because of that. And, uh, well, this is wrong with me, and well, I have a headache today. And, you know, you have to get past all of these things and learn that never giving up and pushing yourself is what makes you get through. So find your passion, and you will find your purpose. I believe me, it happens. There is a plan for your life. You just have to plan to be part of whatever that plan is. I don't believe that God has brought us here to just simply exist. I don't believe that. No part of me believes that. There is something that is supposed to transpire in your life 
and it is really up to you. It's not up to my husband or my kids. It's not even up to Dave to make sure that my life goes great. It's up to Cynthia. But one thing I do know through all this journey is it also was not up to the doctors. <clears throat> they played a role, but they didn't play the part. So it was about me getting involved with what was happening to me. I had a very rare illness that no doctor in Washington State had heard of. There was no doctor locally that could treat me. Now, I could have went home and sat down and died. That was their option to me. Let's wait six months and see what happens. While they were still waiting to see what happens, I got on the computer and I found doctors out of state that were researching this illness. And I became an advocate for myself. In this industry, you must become an advocate for yourself. It's not your upline's responsibility. It's not your downline's responsibility. If you were sick, you would find out what you need to do. In building a business, you have to find out what you need to do. And so be an advocate for yourself. And whatever you do, don't give up. Thank you, everybody. For